Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. On my previous video, I talked about our nerve supply of our neck, nerve supply of our upper limb, nerve supply of our chest, abdomen and back. So if you have not seen the video, then click on the button and watch the video now. Today I will talk about the nerves are coming out from lumbar plexus. So pay attention. As you can see, this is a photo of lumbar plexus and I already talked about this in my earlier videos. You guys can check that. So the first nerve is coming out from the lumbar plexus is iliohypogastric nerve. This iliohypogastric nerve has two components. One is motor and sensory. Motor component supplies our transverse abdominis muscle, then internal oblique muscle of abdomen and the sensory component carries the sensation from our external oblique muscle, internal oblique muscle, transverse abdominis muscle, then supra pubic area and posterior lateral. This is posterior side, posterior lateral. This is lateral side, the posterior lateral part of our gluteal region. Okay. And now the next nerve is our ilioinguinal nerve. This nerve also has motor and sensory component. Motor component supplies our transverse abdominis muscle, then internal oblique muscle, okay. And the sensory component carries sensation from our medial part of our thigh, okay. This is our thigh, this is the medial part, this is the lateral part, okay. So it carries the uh, sensory sensation from our medial part of our thigh, mons pubis, then anterior part of our scrotum, then root of the penis in female, there it carries the sensation from the labia majora and the clitoris, okay. So I will talk about these things in future in under special topics, okay. Genitofemoral nerve. This nerve also has two components, motor and sensory. Motor component supplies our cremester muscle. Now this cremester muscle presents in the testis. I will talk about these things very details later on special topics, not here. And the sensory component carries sensation from the anterior part of our scrotum. In female, it carries sensation from labia majora. Now the next is lateral cutaneous nerve of thigh. Now this is the lateral part of our thigh and cutaneous means skin. So it carries the sensation from skin of the lateral part of our thigh. Okay, that's it. Next, here comes the obturator nerve and femoral nerve. These two are very very important for your theory, for your fiber, for your entrance exam. So I'm going to talk about these two nerve very very detailed. So let's start about our obturator nerve. Okay. As you can see in this photo, this is a photo of obturator nerve. As you can see in this photo that the one branch are coming out from root part of L2, then another branch is coming from the root part of the L3, then another branch is coming from the root part of the L4. So these branches from L2, L3, L4 are merging together and forms the obturator nerve. So the ultimate root value is L2, L3, L4, okay, means second, third and fourth lumbar spinal nerve. After the formation of obturator nerve, it enters into the obturator canal. Okay. Now, in obturator canal, it divides itself into two parts. One is anterior part, another is posterior part. Now, when this obturator nerve goes downward, it gives multiple branches. Suppose one nerve is going and supplying our pectineous muscle. I already talked about this muscle in my earlier videos of pelvic part. So, muscles of our pelvis. If you have not seen that video, then please watch those videos, okay. So it supplies our pectineous muscle, then in medial part of our thigh, there is our adductor longus muscle, it supplies it and there is another muscle which is gracilis muscle. So adductor longus present this side, gracilis muscle present this side, okay. So adductor longus and gracilis, it is supplying this, okay. And sometimes it supplies our adductor brevis muscles also, okay. Now what happens to the posterior part of obturator nerve? This posterior part of obturator nerve, when it goes downward to the thigh, it goes posterior medially of the thigh and gives one branch to our obturator externus muscle. And also in this posterior medial position, there is our adductor magnus muscle, okay. So it supplies this muscle and sometimes it supplies our adductor brevis also. Now actually what happens in a few people, this adductor brevis muscle gets supplied by anterior part of our obturator nerve and in a few people, this muscle supplies by posterior part of our obturator nerve. This depends person to person, okay. So this is the ultimate idea of our obturator nerve. Now next I am going to talk about our femoral nerve, okay. So as you can see in this photo that femoral nerve is arising from the lumbar plexus and the ultimate root value of this is L2, L3 and L4, okay. Now after the formation of this femoral nerve, it goes, I mean it passes down behind the inguinal ligament. I will talk about this inguinal ligament in future in details. Now it goes behind the inguinal ligament and enters into the femoral triangle. Again I will talk about this femoral triangle in my special topics. Okay, This is very important. Now 
just imagine there is a triangle this is known as femoral triangle and the femoral nerve enters into the femoral triangle and after crossing the femoral triangle it enters into the anterior part of our thigh suppose this is our thigh okay so this is the anterior part we call it anterior compartment and this is the posterior part we call it posterior compartment okay so this femoral nerve enters in the anterior component i mean anterior compartment of the thigh okay now suppose this is my inguinal ligament okay so imagine my finger is inguinal ligament inside as you can see in this photo now approximately 2 cm or 2.5 cm below to this um, inguinal ligament there is one artery it is known as lateral circumflex femoral artery uh, what happens when this femoral nerve going downward this femoral nerve get divided itself into two part one is anterior part another is posterior part due to this artery suppose this is a finger this is my finger and this is known as lateral circumflex femoral artery and this femoral nerve is going downward downward uh, due to presence of this lateral circumflex femoral artery this femoral nerve get divided itself into two part one is anterior another is posterior and goes downward like this position okay like this position so after in division enter and posterior division, it goes downward and downward and downward now what are the branches coming out from this uh, femoral nerve above the position of lateral circumflex femoral artery i mean above i mean superior position before it divides itself into anterior and posterior part one branch is arising for the pectineous muscle okay so one branch arises from the femoral nerve and it supplies our pectineous muscle and after the division this anterior part and posterior part goes downward and enters into our thigh now the anterior part of this femoral nerve it supplies our sartorius muscle now sartorius is the longest muscle in our body okay everyone knows it you also know this now it supplies our sartorius muscle okay and few branches are arises it supplies our um, medial part and intermediate part of our thigh i mean the skin part cutaneous part of our thigh um, i mean the cutaneous i mean the medial and intermediate cutaneous part of our thigh now from the posterior part it supplies mainly our quadriceps group of muscle in this group of muscle there comes our vastus medialis then vastus lateralis then vastus intermedius then above there is rectus femoris muscle so this posterior part of this femoral nerve supplies all these muscles okay it also supplies our hip joint after giving these branches this femoral nerve continues going downward and gives one branch to our knee joint okay now when it crosses the knee joint this nerve the name changes into saphenous nerve okay matlab ye femoral nerve tha ghutne se upar jab ghutne se niche chala jata hai iska naam badal jata hai saphenous nerve dimag mein ghusa theek hai now this saphenous nerve supplies our uh, this infrapatellar part I mean the inferior part of our patella okay this is our patella so this supplies our inferior part of our patella and it also supplies our leg part I mean this is our leg so this is the medial part this is the lateral part so it supplies the skin I mean cutaneous sensation uh, medial part of our leg okay and this nerve extends up to our grade 2 okay this is our grade 2 it's, this saphenous nerve extends up to grade 2 and supplies the skin part of this medial part of our foot this is the ultimate idea of our femoral nerve so i hope you guys understand all the nerves are coming out from this lumbar plexus and among these femoral nerve and obturator nerve are very very important okay so see you on my next video with important nerves are coming out from the sacral plexus okay so till then bye